everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, hi, I'm Audrey and I make all kinds of lifestyle videos. So if this is something that you enjoy or if you scroll through my other videos and you like any of them, please subscribe if you like to. That would help me a lot, but only if you want to. Um, and let's get into the video. I feel like the year has just started and it's already gone. Like the first month is gone. So I feel like these kind of resets are really, really important to keep you on track, to make you realize when something went wrong and where it's time to reset and recalibrate yourself, reposition yourself to be back on track. I think that once you grow older, uh, time flies faster because you're not measuring your time in increments of school and free time. Your free time becomes the time where you have a side hustle, the time where you have to do chores and grocery shopping, the time where you have to uh, go visit friends and family and relatives and make sure that you're doing it all. So your free time is not just play time. Um, so that's why I believe that time flies faster when you're an adult. I also think that because of that, uh, it kind of gets a little mixed. So you don't realize where uh, time, free time is and where work time is and you don't have strict boundaries that lets you measure how you spend your time. So that's why you don't realize when the month is gone. And now when I'm filming this, it's, it's the 20th, uh, 29th of January, um, it's almost February and the month has gone. And without doing this type of resets, I wouldn't be able to remember what I've done throughout the year. And when the year finishes um, and 2024 starts, I'm gonna be like, what did I do this year? Because I don't remember anything because I didn't measure anything. So every month I am planning to do a monthly reset just like this, where I'm gonna keep track of everything that I'm doing and I'm gonna share with you how that works. I use Notion, so I have a template in Notion and I'm gonna show you while I complete everything. So if you're interested, I can uh, you can leave me a comment down below and I can share the pages with you. So I'm gonna go into my monthly reset page and I'm gonna go into January. Uh, this is the first time I'm doing it, so I'm kind of building it as I go, but I will uh, want to add a gra uh, gratitude um, tab where I can uh, write the things that I'm grateful that happened in January. So that would be, um, let me think, that will be, I'm grateful for paying off my debt to my mom um, because I owed her some money. I am grateful for good weather. I'm also grateful for getting over my um, sad seasonal affective disorder because during this month I didn't have any kind of experience of negative feelings because of the weather, because of the darkness, it was all very smooth, so I'm really, really grateful for that. I'm obviously grateful for my health, for my job, for my partner, for my friends, but this is more sort of a, this specific thing happened in January. Okay, so I think that's, that's enough now. So I will delete all of these goals because I actually don't want to do separate pages because in my monthly reset, I have all the months laid down really, really beautiful. This is a template that I got from the internet, so it's not mine. Thank you, Simba. So for the to-do, this is actually something that I'm going to uh, do for February. So I'm going to have a to-do list and I'm going to write all the things in there. But because this is a new template, I'm not going to fill that up. Finance tracking. Um, I'm going to do this as a bullet point as well. Oh, not as a to-do list, sorry. Finance tracking. Because I have a separate file uh, that I do every month and that's where I do all of my finances and that's where I look to see what happened, what was my biggest drainer, what, uh, where I can save if I want to save more and all of these things. But that's going to be a separate video. I'm going to link it up below when it's available because I'm planning to do a thorough... Um, or how much I spend, like things like that. So finance tracking, that's done. Um, I'm gonna film it right after the video, so it's gonna be done afterwards. And to-do list, I said I'm not gonna do that. Goals, I wanna do this. Okay. 
So let's make it pretty now, quickly. Good. So I'll just copy this, all of this, and we'll go into February and paste those. I don't need this habit tracker. I'm actually gonna delete this. This is how the template came. I'm gonna add this. So now we're gonna do uh, goals uh, and to do for February. So in terms of to do, I goals. I want to upload. No, without I want. I want to upload two times per week on YouTube. Okay, we can delete this off. We we're gonna fill this off in Feb. I want to finish reading a book. And is there anything else? Oh, I want to negotiate at work and get a salary increase. I will, uh, I'll keep you updated with that. This is not how you say negotiate. Yes, this is how you say negotiate. Okay. Uh, in terms of to do's, I have to change water filter. This is gonna be a constant to do list at every in the beginning of every month. Um, Timba. No. Start planning um, garden beds. Okay, I want to... I don't think there is like a big to-do list, but I'll continue to update this throughout the month. So going back to January, I'm not gonna do goals and to-do list because I haven't actually filled it out, so it's all gonna start from, from Feb. Um, but I am gonna go into my homepage and I'm gonna go into YouTube and I'm gonna have this YouTube tracker. And I'm gonna have January. And I'm gonna have hours. So in the last 20 days, which is exactly what I want, I have 1,296 subs. I've got 794 views and 24.5 watch hours. And this is just in the last day. So if I go into analytics, just had to quickly uh, plug my computer because it was gonna die but I've tracked my YouTube hours and now I don't think there is actually anything else um, to measure. So this is my monthly reset. It's super simple. I don't want it to make it too complicated because otherwise I'm not gonna do it. But other than that, um, also what I'm doing is I'm doing a, a space reset. So I'm always uh, washing like all the towels and stuff I am changing the sheets, um, usually twice per month, not every month, but sometimes it happens. So I make sure that when there is a uh, monthly reset day, I do everything. I wash my brushes. Oh, this is something that I should write for February. Wash brushes. Okay. Um, I make sure that my plants are cleaned, that the uh, leaves are dusted and everything else. I make sure that I do a deeper clean on the bathroom, the kitchen, but that is kind of my um, monthly reset. It's super simple, but I think it's so important. I haven't done it last year and I, I got that feeling at the end of the year where I didn't exactly know what my achievements were because I didn't note any of them down. Um, and I think the gratitude part is also important because you might forget the small things along the year. And it's really nice to have a place where you know what all the small things that happened that made you smile that you might forget in two months, but that they're written down and you can go back and check and realize that every month is a good month. And every month we should be grateful that we are here, that we can pay our bills, that we have a roof over our head, we have a fridge full of food. And that is really, really important. So that is all for my monthly reset video. Let me know if you're doing a monthly reset or if you're planning to start this year or you've done it in the past and if it's been uh, helpful or not. Um, I'm sure for me it's gonna be extremely helpful, but again, it depends on what type of person you are. If you like a list and stuff, you might do a different kind of monthly reset. I'm really curious to find out what exactly you are doing. And that was all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you find some part of it useful 
um, and I'll see you next time. Bye.